right, all right. Another day and another video of me up on a perch. But I'm perched up at the W San Francisco, take a look at this view. They got me in a cool corner room, which is an upgraded room. And this W tour continues. I think this is W number 10 or 11, but it's happening. This is for real and we're doing it. Yeah, this is a really cool corner room and have a beautiful view of San Francisco. It's raining right now as it typically would. So I'm getting the true San Francisco experience. Uh, let's start in the bathroom real quick. It's decent, no tub, but still really cool. And these shapes also have geometric depth to them. They kind of come out a little bit. I'm not sure if you can pick it up on camera, but they kind of protrude. We are using Momo products today, which I like these products a lot. Nice rain head shower right there. And then an opposing handle if you need to do some serious scrubbing. Uh, really no nonsense in this bathroom. It's clean. I like the marble flooring, great mirror on it. Uh, what's up? Love the iridescent um, lighting on the perimeter of it. And then as you transition out here, it's got the frosted glass, so it gives you a little bit of privacy. No lock, but some privacy nonetheless. And then again, there's another full length mirror. What's up? I like this space right here. Like these corner rooms, they are awkward and they are just a, a, a little weird. And I think the W made the best of them, at least in this room. You can put some luggage up here. You can put your trinkets up here. If you go shopping, you can put some stuff up here. Um, if you want to have breakfast or room service, you could put your stuff here and then take each plate over here. A lot of options for those who actually live in the room. You could do a lot of functionality and a lot of utility right up here. Let's transition into the bedroom and look how cool this is. Let me start with the view, which I think is probably the pinnacle point of this room. One interesting thing about this corner is that this is actually glass. But when you do a, a panning shot, it looks like it's part of the city. This is, a, this is a pillar right here that has structural significance for the building. So they did a great job of just mirroring it and then impregnating it and blending it in with the rest of the view of the city. I think they did a great job on and it. W couches are known for style and not for supple or softness. And I like the fact how if you're chilling with someone, you could just go like this and then they could be over here, right? So it's almost like a dual chase, you know? And you can both enjoy the city and uh, it just has a lot of, a lot of potential. Safe is right here, and then your mini bar snacks are right here. And of course, single serving espresso, which is really, really cool. You have your reading lights right here. More geometric patterns up here. I love the accent and fluorescent lighting hitting off the bronzed um, accent wall. That's really cool. Again, more geometric shapes and stuff right here. When you can add more dimension and um, more geometries to the room, I think it just adds to the overall feng shui and the overall feel. I, I love it. I've been really good, I swear to God, I've been really good on my anti-caffeine pledge. Uh, I might have to break it. Every time I open up a Marriott mini fridge, God, they're staring me in the face right there. I'm not gonna do it, but I probably will later. And then we have a few bottles if you wanna get uh, a little bit more serious. And then up here, we have an ice bucket and some glassware, okay? Looks like one has to shut before the other. It's like a puzzle. Let's check out this bed. Will it be the pillow top mattress that we're used to seeing at all W's? Oh yeah. Yeah, it is. And it's, it's really good. It's awesome. It is that soft and supple pillow top mattress that the W's are known for. And it's actually really good. I'm getting used to them. I'm getting used to them. So yeah, this is the W San Francisco and this is a cool corner room. And I do think it's really cool. At least my first impression, we need to uh, live in it a little bit. We need to uncover and discover and then see what it's really like. It's so far so good. Uh, this has some potential to be a really, really great room. Let me give you a little pan real quick. And uh, there we go. So let's head down to the living room. Let's uh, check out that lunch menu. Let's get into some trouble down there. I'm gonna do a little bit of work and then let's get off to fitness after that. All right, let's go. All right, all right. So by the way, nothing cooler than a W elevator, right? All right, so this is what the lobby looks like. They got a really cool fireplace area over there. We'll take some video of that. And then of course, here is the living room bar. I love it when it has this speck of fluorescent uh, embedded type of lighting. That's really cool. We're gonna sit over here and we're gonna eat. All right, so we're here at the living room bar here in San Francisco. It's actually a really cool place. You can see the uh, Mr. Actually, it's Miss Pac-Man, not Mr. Pac-Man. We have a Miss Pac-Man right here. Uh, fireplace seating over here. Great view into the city. Uh, Trace Bar is over there. It has a great, beautiful chandelier right here. And then Trace the Farm to Table, which I talked about, is uh, 
is right there. So they have two. This place is meant for me. They have two egg white drinks. Uh, the first one is called the New Beginning. I think that's a pretty cool name. What I'm most interested in is the spiced pumpkin gingerbread syrup. I think that will be a very intriguing flavor. Then they also have a spice trade, uh, which is gin and then passion fruit um, and then ground cardamom. So I'm gonna order both those. I actually ordered them side by side so we can compare them. And then I decided to go with the rosemary sourdough flatbread. No surprise there, we're addicted to pizza on the channel. But look at this, roasted squash and then leeks for the smoky blue. Again, very interesting. All right, all right, so leaving living room. Uh, this place is really, really great. I'd say the focal point is this uh, rectangular square 90 degree angle fireplace. There's also seating over there. Uh, I love this uh, double story type of chandelier. So this used to be the mix bar. As you can see that uh, it's still written up there, but it's not, it's actually just private now. It's closed off. I'll walk you up here. So this used to be it. It's now private. I'm definitely not allowed to be up here. But how cool is this? So it overlooks Trace, which is really cool. I can hear people talking. I'm definitely not supposed to be up here. And here is the double chandelier, which is really cool. You can see the fireplace right there. Nice overlook on top of the epicenter of the W. Here's another view of the W living room. Here's the main entrance, it's the corner entrance. It's different than the lobby entrance, uh, but this leads right into Trace and then right into the living room. Then you can see the other entrance right over there. Here's the living room. That's where we're eating. There's Miss Pac-Man. As you can see, this probably was at one time quite the place to hang out. Definitely not supposed to be up here but really, really cool. This is for private events now. This is the top level of that chandelier. It looks like it transcends down three floors, which is really, really cool. There's where we were eating right there. God, this third level is really cool. That second level bar, it's really a shame that it closed. That second level bar was so cool, how it overlooked Trace and was on the second level. Just had a bit more privacy and a bit more class. Unicorns up there, the art is really neat. Yeah, and you can see people are up here for business, so I will not impede or impose let's get back to the room it's time for a nap i need to do some work then we're gonna gym and then we're gonna do trace for dinner all right i'm out just woke up uh definitely hibernated and the bed was amazing this bed is so awesome w beds are growing on me i don't know what's happening to me now that i'm removed from the situation i will say that the new beginnings drink was absolutely number one and if i had to pick a dish now that i'm removed from it i'm off my high of eating and whatever i would probably say that the pork belly and the pizza were tied for number one uh here is the way the room is kind of set up now after being in it for a few hours i did notice one thing uh these Outlets are spaced weirdly. If you want to get some work done, as you can see, I have two chargers right there, and uh, now they will fit. You can also see that mid slumber, I woke up and got into some bark thins. Uh, you can see that I also kind of unpacked a little bit. I've used this ledge to kind of put my materials and stuff on here. Here's my travel tote. Uh, just kind of uh, have my jackets unfurled. I didn't hang them up because I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't want to go through all that work. But I just opened up my uh, my suitcase. I'm using this ledge. As, as a workspace and, and an area to kind of, like I said, unfurl my clothing. So here we are. Uh, the plan is to go to the gym, work off that huge lunch that we had, and then the plan is to go to Trace, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Apparently they have phenomenal wines and phenomenal dishes. I like the farm to table concept. I'm not an avid farm to table person, but I've never had a negative farm to table experience. So that should be cool. And in case you're interested, here is what the city looks like at night. It's still raining but the view is really cool. And again, if you want to be in the heart of the city and you only want access to, uh, I almost say San Diego, because that's where I'm from. I want to say San Diego, San Francisco. If you really want access to San Francisco, uh, this place is, like I said, in the epicenter of the city. It's a great location. And uh, basically that's what everybody was saying. I was hearing it uh, downstairs in the lobby. And there was, a, the, the lobby was bustling and buzzing. Uh, from from uh, from noon to when I arrived to about 3 p.m. from when we finished lunch, there were meetings taking place. There were people coming and scoping out the convention area. It was a very lively W. Some W living rooms can be a little dull, um, not in terms of decor, uh, but just in terms of kind of uh, buzz and excitement and fervor. And uh, this place definitely, definitely was bustling and it has an energy. And if you need that and like that, this is the place for you. So. Um, I'll check in more later uh, once I kind of get 
settled in even more. I'll give a final update tomorrow morning, but until then, let's go to the gym, let's go check that out, and then let's go check out Trace. All right, so I just finished at Trace, but I didn't get a chance to actually eat at Trace, although they did let me see the restaurant afterwards. I was able to walk through and I'll splice in that info sometime in this video. Uh, but I was able to get the menu, even though I wasn't able to sit at the restaurant and actually I enjoyed sitting at the living room more than I would of Trace, um, it's just a bit more lively. Actually a little too lively, uh, there was a DJ and it was really, really loud, but I will say that that living room here at the W has been effervescent, lively, bubbly, and very festive since 1 p.m. this afternoon. It's been ongoing. Uh, frankly, it's been a very, very happening, perhaps one of the most happening hotel lobby bar areas I've ever seen. So if you're looking for a hotel with some action, uh, especially in the lobby area, this is it. So let me quickly go over the dishes and then I'm going to give an overview of the room and my stay and then we still have to do the gym. I went there around 8 p.m. and typically hotel gyms clear out around, I'd say probably 7, 7.30. I went there at 8 and it was packed. And once you see this gym, you'll see why. I just went up there and they're cleaning it, of course. There are multiple people in there, so I need a chance to get in there and actually photograph it for you. Um, it's a little loud in there, but you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. The chicken was, was phenomenal. I can see why it was a signature dish. It was juicy, it was succulent, it was fresh. Uh, it was light, I was able to cut it with a fork. It's the way chicken should be cooked. Chicken is a lot like pork chops, where if it's not cooked perfectly, it can be ruined very, very quickly. Uh, in fact, I would say chicken is cooked erroneously more often than it's cooked correctly and precisely. This was so good, you could cut it with a fork. It was, it was awesome. It had some uh, sweet potato gnocchi on it, which was interesting. Uh, I'm a big gnocchi fan. I don't eat it a lot because it's not good for you, but I like the fact they tried to make it healthy with the sweet potato gnocchi. Overall, it was probably the best dish. Uh, it was tied with the Brussels sprouts. Not the biggest Brussels sprout person. It's something that's growing on me, but it was they were so good. Usually when you get Brussels sprouts, they are accented with a flavor, and sometimes that accent flavor can override the actual flavor of the Brussels sprouts. These are probably in my top two or three Brussels sprout dishes I've ever had. I had one at a place in Coronado recently this past summer that was unbelievable. Those are probably better, but these are like second. They were so good. They were fresh. Uh, they were light, they weren't too crisp. Sometimes when you get Brussels sprouts, they're a little too crispy, a little too hardened. These were great, and they retained the natural organic taste of the Brussels sprout. You know, quickly just to talk about Trace, um, there's, there's no bar there. Um, it's mainly based in wine. They do have a wine list, predominantly California wines, and that makes sense since we're up close to Napa Valley here in Northern California in San Francisco. And yeah, it was just it had beautiful decor. It was white with draping uh, linens and the booths were right in the middle and they kind of quarantined off the tables and there was a lot of light and there was a secondary uh, type of overlook where you can have private events and then they can overlook both uh, the living room and trace. It was really, really nicely set up. Uh, it is definitely set up for more of an intimate setting and if you want more action and if you want more activity, then you definitely want to check out the living room bar. That's it. This W was great. It was really compact. You could do this W in one day easily. Uh, of course, we still need to go check out the gym. As I said, uh, this was a very, very efficient W trip and I liked it. I'd say it's probably number four. I need to keep a running list of where these W's are because now we're getting to double digits. I'd say it's number four, just off the top of my head and, and this could shift around a little bit, but number one is easily W Hollywood. I'd say number two is Miami or London. Those two are really similar. Um, obviously very different in terms of locale, but the experience was great. Those two are second tier and really, really good. And this I would put maybe just a little bit under that, so probably at number four thus far. But I'm having a lot of fun with the W Tour. This has been really great. And of course, when you're at a W, like I said, there's so much cool stuff around. I mean, I'm in the middle of San Francisco. I'm in the heart cities. I mean, this is really the epicenter of San Francisco. Miami was in Brickell. London was in Leicester Square. The list goes on and on. Uh, the Minneapolis one was at the Fauché building, etc., etc. So it's been really great, and I'm really 
happy that I decided to do this because it's putting me in fantastic spots just by proxy. You know, it just has a byproduct by being in this um, hotel chain. So I'm looking forward to it. We're, I think, officially 20% done. Let me give you a quick overview of the room. Uh, you can see I got a video going right here. I'm gonna put up, I'll post that soon. The bed was really comfortable. I took an amazing slumber on it. It was fantastic. And this type of theme, as you saw, it's, it's in the hallways, it's above the bed. Uh, it's also in the bathroom, it's everywhere. I really like thematics and I really like continuity in hotels, that's cool. And what I ended up doing uh, on this perch is surprisingly not making a perch video, but just kind of unfurling and unpacking my stuff. Just organize some stuff, take some stuff out of a suitcase. I literally do live out of a suitcase and it's really nice to have this large area to work with. Look at these boots, by the way. How cool are those? Those are more Vegas than San Francisco. And that's exactly where we're going after this. Let's bring it back to this hotel real quick. Um, you know, bathroom. You can see I just got some stuff underneath there. And yeah, that's it. This is this is a one and done. But if you're looking for a no-brainer, if, you, if you're looking for some action to be in a lively spot, great energy, DJ on a Thursday night, it is quintessential archetypical W. And uh, it's, it definitely gets uh, a recommend from me. I will recommend this hotel. We still need to go hit the gym, but this is kind of going to be the last time I think I talk uh, because I need to get out of here in the morning for a meeting. So you know where I stand? I'm going to save the best for last. Don't go anywhere because this gym is something you want to see. I've never seen a pattern shaped gym like this. I've never seen literally a design like this. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna do some work, and then hopefully we'll go up there around 1 a.m. We'll go check it out. Hopefully nobody will be in that street. This is the coolest, most radical, groovy gym I've ever seen. It just redid it. If this is how all W gyms are going to be in the future, I can't wait. All right, so before I go to the gym, I wanna say two things. This is an award-winning hotel in two different measurements. Number one, in terms of class, quality, and excellence, and number two, in terms of green. This is an award-winning green hotel, and it's very high caliber as well, which is very cool. All right, let's go check out this gym. You ready for this? All right, here we go. Right? How cool is this? So groovy, so psychedelic, so radical, so awesome. It's fresh, it has great equipment, and it has a little bit of everything, and plus it is just so soothing on the senses. I worked out once earlier and then the second time right now. Of course, W, what did we find? We found boxing equipment. There's boxing equipment in every W. I'm saying it right now, that's my hypothesis because we've seen it almost 10 or 11 times now. Little TV right here. You have one of those um, concave treadmills, which are very, very good on your joints. A couple traditional treadmills, uh, three ellipticals, Two bikes, one horizontal, one vertical, one more tread right here, and then a stair stepper. You have a leg machine right here, and then you also have an assortment of weights, up to 50, and then kettleballs, medicine balls, and some mats and stuff over here. And then just, God, how cool is this ring lighting with the chandelier? Um, you have spots right here where you can sit down and just take a break between exercises, or maybe you wanna be social, and you're with a friend or a significant other, and they wanna work out and you don't want to. This can be used as a place to sit and also a place to maybe put your cell phone or a drink. Someone left their sweater here. And one other thing that I saw is that you have the ability to control the volume on the house music. I turned it down because I did not want a copyright strike on this video. But you can turn it up a little bit if you want right here. Oh, good. I'll go ahead and turn it back down. I just want to hang out here. I mean, this is the epitome of cool. I'm gonna end up saying cool a lot on this channel, so you better get used to it. We do the coolest stuff. We're going to the coolest places and doing the coolest things. That is a guarantee. So this is it, this is the W San Francisco. I'm gonna say sayonara from here. I'm off in the morning for a business meeting, but the trip goes on to Vegas. Again, we're doing the Mandarin and the Waldorf Astoria. Check out those videos and also the Palazzo. So until then, I'm out, coolest. I'll see you in the next one.